So how has the real estate market been affected by the interest rate hikes that we've been seeing all year long? Um, as you guys probably know, the Bank of Canada raised their rates again for the seventh time in only 10 months. And I'm going to jump right into uh, prices because everybody wants to know what kind of prices are going on right now. So, for example, detached home prices, what I did was I compared it to the peak of the market, which was for most markets, January, February, in, around that price range. And um, now I'm comparing it to November. And for pretty much all across the board, November is showing the lowest prices we've seen all year for pretty much every single city I've covered. So um, let's say, for example, uh, Brampton. Brampton is down 28%. Keep in mind, these are average prices, so they do tend to fluctuate a lot. But right now, as of November, uh, Brampton is down 28% in terms of average price for a detached house when you compare it to the peak of the market, which was in the winter this year. And Caledon is down 27%. Oakville is down 28%. And the only ones that are showing the lowest decrease are like Vaughn and Markham. So York is not doing as badly as some of the other markets. Durham as a whole is down 29% and Toronto is down 25%. Now, before agents hate on me and send me hate mail, <laughs> uh, I just want to make it very clear. This is a very generic video because I, when I make videos on individual cities, uh, there's a lot more detail involved, but this is a very basic overview of what's happening in the market. I do realize like even in Toronto, there's like 500 different neighborhoods, but obviously I'm not going to be covering every single neighborhood because that video would be like 30 hours long <laughs> and I cannot hold anybody's interest for 30 hours. So, so this is a very basic overview of what's going on. You can see here pretty much all across the board, I would say average price for a detached house is down around 25% except York, which is down around 17, 18%. Okay, so that's for a detached house um, since the peak of the market. Now let's look at how condos are doing because condos were also, you know, they make up a major, uh, decent uh, share of the market in most regions. So for this, what I did was I just covered regions like uh, Halton, Peel, York, Durham, and Toronto. And in Peel, they are down 28%. But like I said before, I realized there's like hundreds of hundreds of condos in Peel and some neighborhoods like square one will be doing better than others, uh, some older areas of Brampton. So I think the general public is smart enough to know that. So I don't want to get hate mail from agents, you know, saying that, hey, you didn't cover this. I sold a condo last week. We had two offers on it. Yes, of course. Uh, you know, I mean, if you price anything low enough, you'll get multiple offers. And if you are in a good neighborhood, you're still doing OK compared to some of the other areas. Um, anyways, uh, Halton is down 16% as a whole and uh, Durham is down 29% for prices in condos. Now, um, another thing I wanted to cover was um, total number of sales. Uh, you can see here like right away as soon as the rate hike happened, like in March and then April, you can see like a drastic drop right away. Uh, this was the peak of the market in terms of number of sales in March, almost 11,000. Then it dropped to below eight and it has been going down ever since. It saw a little bit of a jump uh, from July to August, but then it came down again. And November right now is showing the lowest number of sales. So the market is down 58% in only a matter of about eight, nine months. And uh, that's that's a big, big drop uh, compared to what was happening you know, in March where everything was selling for um, you know, $30,000, $40,000 over asking. Now, if you guys want to see um, uh, like individual regions, how they are doing pretty much all across the board, like Halton is down 62%. Peel is hurting the most. They are down 64% in terms of number of homes sold. And uh, keep in mind, like, let's say, for example, Peel, 748 homes sold in all of Peel, which includes Mississauga, Brampton, and Caledon. And this includes condos and freehold homes like everything added together only 748 homes sold in all of November and Durham is down about 59 percent so pretty much all across the board the markets are down 60 to 65 percent and that is for number of homes sold now another thing I want to um, bring up this took me a long time to prepare uh, so if you guys enjoy this kind of stuff like please like and subscribe because uh, it helps the channel grow. It is growing a lot faster than I expected. So thank you very much um, for anybody and everybody who has supported me since the beginning. Um, but keep it going. <laughs> Don't let me stop you. So um, bidding wars. 
Remember, if you guys were in the market in uh, January, February, and March, you guys probably remember, like, if especially if you were a buyer, any house you went to, you were competing with like 10, 20, 30 offers, and chances were, you know, the house was going to sell 100 to 200 thousand dollars over asking. So this was what was happening. This is how many homes, what percentage of homes were selling over asking price at the peak of the market, uh, which was February, March. So I picked February for this uh, stat. For example, in Durham, anything that came up, chances were 93% um, of homes sold over asking price. And now that doesn't mean like $500,000 over asking. It could be $1,000, it could be $200,000, but it sold over asking, which means that chances are there was, there was more than one offer on it. So it went from um, like Toronto, for example, 78% of homes were selling over asking price in February, and now that has dropped to 21%. Peel went from 90%. I remember um, in Brampton, uh, Brampton was as high as 96% at one point. Like, pretty much guaranteed you could put up anything for sale at that time and it was going to get multiple offers because there was just really no supply. So Brampton went from 90% to 16% uh, from February to November. Halton went from 86% to 12%. So um, you can see here, that's the impact that the rate hikes have had so far. Um, I know there are some agents, not all, like most agents are showing you all this stuff. Most agents are telling you the truth, but there are some agents who are still trying to spin it in some way where they're trying to make it like it's not as bad as it actually is. Uh, let me tell you, this is straight from the Toronto Real Estate Board and it is bad. So whether you're selling or buying, please do a lot of research. Uh, you don't have to believe me. You don't have to believe them, you know, uh, do your own research because a lot of the information is available to the public. So you just got to dig around a lot. So, but it's a lot of money you're dealing with. So I think it's worth the time to do the research before you guys sign anything. Hopefully this helps. If you guys need any help uh, buying or selling, or if you guys have any questions and you don't want to listen to a sales pitch, <laughs> uh, give me a call or text and I'll talk to you later. Thanks. See ya.